Hey everybody, this is Eric Likes Travel Videos and I'm in Rome, Italy. And guess what today is? Dun, da, da, da. It's extending, it, out, out, extending, out, outstanding, ex exciting, ex extending, it's extending, um, it's laundry day. And so it's, it really turns into this all day event. Um, and there's things that have to be done um, pre and post laundry day. And so I, I guess I'm gonna show you what the ordeal is to do laundry in Rome, at least in this place. But I've done laundry in Slovenia and Romania and Slovakia and, and, Pro, and, and Prague and Croatia and everywhere. And, and I tend to run into the same kind of thing. But let me explain. Okay, so um, the first thing you have to do is, so there's an air conditioner in, in the living room and my computer is plugged in. Um, but then let me show you some more things. The hot water heater, oh, the light just turned off. So that means that, oh, well, it just came on again. So it means it's still heating water. Um, and this air conditioner is going. And there's my bag of laundry in my beautiful uh, um, <laughs> pillowcase. But uh, this air is going too. And so, what I have to do is, so I have the temperature set on this air conditioner in here at 20 and I have this window open a little bit, but I, cause I don't want the light to come in and heat up the room. Um, and then I have this one set at 20 and I'll lower this, um, when it comes time, but I have to turn off everything except for one air conditioner. I found that I can leave on. Um, I have to turn off this light. I have to unplug my laptop. I have to turn off everything and any, cause it, last time I did this, it popped the circuit breaker like three or four times until I turned everything off. So even the little table lights, I unplug my charger because it draws energy to charge the, the devices. Um, everything has to be turned off. I end up turning off the hot water heater. I turn off, I mean, every little thing I can think of that I need to turn off gets turned off. Um, or you're going to pop this and it breaks every time if you don't. And then what happens is <laughs> then it's a nightmare. Then it starts the cycle over. So then it drains the tank. It, um, it, then you have to put in more soap. If you've lost your soap, you have to, you know, so it just becomes a nightmare. You can't watch TV. You can't, you can't do anything. So nicely, I have a laptop so I, I can still work my laptop. I have to turn off the, even the Wi-Fi um, because it too draws energy, but my cell phone will supply me with a Wi-Fi connection so I can still surf the web. Um, and you know play a game and maybe i'll find my boy and see if he wants to hook up and play a, a game um anyway so that's what i have to do but first because i just went to the store and bought groceries and i've got my my gooey bears and i got my peaches my pears my apples my cucumbers zucchini carrots onions i even got a a chunk of uh what is that stuff called uh you know what it is and garlic and uh um anyway that's what I have to do. So I will be back. Let me uh, get all this taken care of to where I'm ready to start the load and then we'll do it. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, one of the other things I have to do is you'll notice that on all my sleeves, I have to unfold them. On my sleeves when I wear them, you know, like on this shirt here, I, I fold the sleeves. But I wanted to show you too, those are all salt rings. <laughs> Every one of them, I, you know, it's so hot and so sweaty and so nasty that I get these salt rings. And so I try to stick them in the sink and kind of wring them out, wash them a little bit and wring them out and, uh, and then put them in the washer just so that I can make sure that uh, they get clean. I, you know, I, I've seen some of these brands before of washers and some of them rock and some of them suck. And so uh, I think this one's kind of on the lower end of middle. So it's not terrible, terrible, but it's not good, good. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you what's involved, but you have to undo your sleeves. Like this one's still kind of wrinkled. So you have to undo that so that it's flat. Or I've noticed that, you know, in America, you know, the, the cuffs, if, if you were had them folded, they, they would come out straight. Well, here, that is absolutely not the case. Anyway, okay, preparation laundry time. Bye-bye.
Okay, so next for me, I usually try to wash everything I have. Um, just so that I, you know, anything that's dirty or whatever, I have my shorts and I have, but I also have sleep clothes. But since I, I can't <laughs> film this naked, um, which, which might get me a, a violation at YouTube and they delete all my videos, but neither here nor there. Um, so I'm wearing what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So the, this shirt doesn't have any sweat stains. It's brand new, it's clean. You can see my rolled up sleeves and all that stuff. And I'm wearing my, sh my uh, sleep shorts and so, um, but the, the rest of my stuff is in the washer. It's dirty anyway. Um, I think I save always one shirt, one sock, one underwear, and all that kind of stuff. So this is the, the bad boy here. Here's your next challenge. The next challenge is you have to figure this out. Um, and, and so some of the things like this looks like it says cotton and it says pre-wash maybe, and then there's cotton standard, and this is the temperature that it'll run at. And so I've made mistakes in the past where I'll do it this way, and I'll put my soap in, and then what happens is it rinses for about five minutes, and then poof, it drains, and all your soap's gone, and then it fills back up again and washes, um, which is no bono. And then I, I'm thinking that these are, you know, uh, I don't, you know, mixed light colors, cotton standard zone two zone one specialty items jeans shorts pants whatever and then you have to figure out these things and so i if i take number one but i want number two um because that's and you have to turn on the power and please don't and there's the power coming on and so then what do you want an eco time no do i want energy saver no do i want or iron? No. Do I want a pre-wash thing? No. I want it to spin at a thousand. I like my temperature hot, hot, hot. Um, just because I don't want, you know, let's, let's kill everything that we can possibly kill. <laughs> and I've got my soap and I've got this empty container. And what they usually do is they take this soap and they'll throw it in the bottom. But I, you know, I don't know that it mixes very good. So what I do is I take this and I'll drop it in that, fill that with water, shake the crap out of it, and then dump that down the drain. And you can tell that this isn't uh, hygienically correct. But anyway, that's, that's not my, my point here. This washer holds six kilograms. Um, but uh, so that's it. So I've got everything loaded. I'm gonna go do my soap into my container, do my shake, shake, shake. I've got everything set right. My temperature's at 90, my speed at spin is 1,000. Um, and here's what else happens. <laughs> This'll take three hours, three hours. Well, let, let's, we'll give it a try and we'll time it. I'll start it, when I start it, I'll start the timer. And then when I'm done, I'll let you know exactly. But I, I would guess two and a half to three hours. Um, and then you have to hang it up and dry it, and that's at least a day. So anyway, I'll be back. Let me do my shaking and I'll come back. Okay, I've got my bottle going and it's shaking pretty good. So I know that thing's good and dissolved in there, but I don't add that first. I wait until it starts to fill first because I don't want to dump soapy water on my clothes. Um, and so I'm just gonna hit start. Everything is turned off. My air conditioner is off in here, and I cool everything because in three hours, with the sun coming in that window, it gets pretty warm. My lights off in here. The light over the stove's off. I've disconnected the Wi-Fi, um, and that the hot water heater. There's a switch down here. I have to turn that off because that draws a bunch of energy too. And so you can see that that light's now off, and this is filling. So I'm going to let it fill for a little while. And it's funny, it fills a little and then it'll like, you know, spin it once or twice and then fill a little more. And what I also notice is it doesn't fill it very full. So I usually, you know, add that whole thing full just to give it some more water. See, there it goes. You have to understand too that my shirts, some of them, the ones that were really bad are wet. Um, which helps me, I think. Um, so you can hear it filling. Let me show you. Hang on, it's gonna spin them again. It's like it, it's like trying to absorb all the water. And you can see the water filling up in there. Um, and this thing's just nasty. 
you know, if I was going to be here three months, I would rip this all apart and clean it all. But uh, anyway, so that's where that's filling at. Um, and it's doing its business, slowly but surely. You know, and it, it in America, you know, our washers, I, I guess I don't like these kind, the upright kind. I like the one with the post in the middle. If you find one that has a no post in the middle, those are terrible. I really want it to hook up and wash my clothes. I don't want it to, you know, just kind of toss things lightly and be really gentle with my clothes. Crap that. Jack that stuff up. <laughs> clean those underwear. Clean those socks. Clean clean those shirts, man. I don't wanna I don't wanna have to worry about having dirty stuff. That's icky. Anyway, that's it. We're moving on. And I will oh what time is it? It is now ten o'clock. So I started this at ten o'clock. You see that? And you can already see that I've walked uh anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um I've been out this morning already, so I had to go get groceries and stuff for dinner tonight and sodas and stuff. Anyway, um, that's it. 10 o'clock, we're starting to wash. I'll be back. Bye-bye. Okay, we've talked about the washing machine. So I just wanted to show you, and I get the water to where it's, you know, at least quarter of the way up just so that it's really spinning and sloshing in the water. That's as fast and as hard as it washes. Yeah, that's it. You know, and it's funny because the washers that I've always had, and I have rental houses and I know what they do, you know, but the post is threaded like this. It goes up or down. And then the sides have, you know, like different kind of patterns on it so that the, the clothes kind of circulate and go around and around and around. I, I don't know that this does any of that except for just turn it. The blades inside are just blades, but I don't know if there's stuff in the very middle if it gets to the outside. But you can see how it washes. It just... La-dee-da, la-dee-da, la-dee-da. Maybe that's why it takes three hours, you know? Because if I, I guess if, if you just kind of, you know, kind of flop things around for three or four hours, I guess they're clean. But if you... Uh, you know, if you're trying to get it done in a half an hour or 45 minutes or at least something reasonable that then uh, you can see the soap still in there. So that's a plus. Don't look at my underwear. Don't be eyeing that. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what this looked like. It just kind of goes back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> Well, thanks for shopping Eric Clark's travel videos and watching my, me wash my, uh, my delicates, my premium delicates. Anyway, <laughs> bye everybody. Okay, everybody, it's uh, 1040, so we've been running for about 40 minutes, and it's still on its top one, which is the wash cycle. And it says here, three hours. Can you guys see that? Three hours to do wash. And then if you want other stuff, I don't, I don't know what that means, but I just wanted to show you that it's still kind of flopping around. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay, everybody. It's 1123. <laughs> and it hasn't ever drained. And it's still just flopping around. You know, maybe it does a pretty good job of cleaning it. You know what I mean? The water is... <whistles> that's really hot. I mean, you can't, I can't touch that and hold that. So I, I'm sure it's certainly sanitized. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's still going. So how long has that been? So an hour and a half. Cool. Okay. Bye, everybody. Okay, it's 11.50. And it just started to drain. And it's doing, it's just its basic spin. And then it'll start its rinse. And I think it does two full rinses. So, so it's taken, what, an hour and 50 minutes to get to the rinse. So we'll see how long it takes to fill up and then drain and then fill up again and then drain and then rinse. Okay. Bye, everybody. Okay, 12.13, 12.14, and it's just now draining. You can hear it pumping out the water. And it kind of looks like it mixes it up a little bit, I guess. Um, glass is not warm, but anyway. Okay, so what is that? So that's two hours and 15 minutes. And uh, now it's going to do its rinse. 
So it'll spin and then rinse. Okay. Bye-bye. I'll be back. Okay, we got the magical uh, <laughs> European dryer, which is pretty standard in uh, every location I've ever been in. Um, and it just folds up and they usually stick it in a closet or under a bed or something. But anyway, so we're waiting on the thing to get unlocked. Uh, so finally the lock's off. Does it open? Aha! So now it's open. So that's it. And it took, uh, it's 1231. So it really took two and a half hours to run the, the washer. And now the, I'll hang it all up and it'll probably take until at least tomorrow to dry. And the nice thing is that I can go back into the, whoo -ha, the room and turn on the air conditioners and stuff because it's, uh, it's pretty stuffy in here. Um, and I can turn back on the, the lights and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the hot water heater and, uh, and that'll turn on you can see the red light on that too so anyway that's it so now you know what the process is for doing laundry in europe so be prepared if you're a a, a long stayer i mean if you're just going to a hotel or something then you know and the hotel's going to do it it's no big deal but if you're going to stay at an airbnb for more than uh, um you know a, a couple of weeks then you you certainly need this and and don't forget you have to have your alarm system <laughs> so, oops so if somebody touches my doorknob that's my alarm anyway but that's that's a whole other story i'm going to do a safety video i think next that talks about you know what you can do for safety and stuff so anyway that's it everybody time to hang up my clothes bye bye everybody okay so this is the magic drying rack fully completed so i got a pair of shorts on one end, socks in the middle, and then shirts, and I try to get it so that there's a little, you know, so it's really over two rails, you see it? So that maybe the air will get in between and it'll dry just a little faster so I can wear them tomorrow. And then I've got my uh, underwear and socks and then another pair of shorts. I hung up a shirt and then my, um, night shirt which i need you know as soon as possible because i hate wearing this shirt because I, I you know if you stain one of your good shirts you're you're kind of sol so i kind of put my chair up there so that it's in direct alignment with the <laughs> the air conditioner vent and uh, i hope it dries the fastest i also wanted to show you something else too now that we can turn on the lights and stuff so you know we talked about the washer so you, you see these the things inside, they're just a straight blade. There's nothing that moves it in or out. And the backside is exactly the same. It's just a straight, you know, it's if, if it were cut like diagonal or something, you would think then it would kind of corkscrew your clothes all around a little bit better. Sorry, let me film that. You know what I mean? But if, so instead of just being straight, if they were kind of curved, you would think that it would kind of, um, mix up the clothes a little better and these things too if it was in opposition to the base and these were kind of like tilted at an angle you know instead of just being straight um, the clothes would rotate better and so the way this is set up is I don't think it does jack nothing I think it just <laughs> spins and and jams on the clothes so my concern is that anything that's in the middle stays in the middle anything on the outside gets beat to death <laughs> anyway i just wanted to show you the the washer and i always try to leave this open just so we can avoid um, mildew uh, and turn off the power and uh, that's it you fully understand the worsening excitement of uh, airbnb life life in the big city okay and you know what i'll tell you another thing when i was sitting here just for kicks and giggles you see this light oh it's bright isn't it but when you turn it off i don't understand this it never turns off it always has that glow to it and so when it's dark in the room it ain't dark in the room <laughs> that little light just stays on all the time what the hell i don't understand it and so the only thing i can do to fix the problem is to unscrew this bulb. That's it. 
so I don't ever get to use that main light. Um, and so I'm forced to use this little quinky dink light. Anyway, <laughs> just a little pet peeve. I don't know. So if you have one of these in your house, throw it away. <laughs> okay, that's it. Bye, everybody.